Hello YouTube. Got this from my neighbor. A broken butcher knife. Okay. I think about making a neck knife. This will be the blade here and then this will be I used a quarter to draw the radius. This will be the handle is about three inches so you won't get your pinky on it. But I'll get three fingers my pinky maybe down on the end. It's just my idea of a neck knife. Okay, this other piece I'm thinking about making, I can't tell you the name, a uh, Chinese chopping knife. I looked it up and it does have a name. Just take this part and just round it, you will put the same radius, just round it and bring it down straight. So it's like a little cleaver. That way you got this nice edge because if you tried to curve it, it'd be too short. I don't want to duplicate this bevel. Okay, I don't want to try to do it. I'll just make a small chopping knife. We have to pause here because someone's knocking on my door. Okay, okay, if the camera's recording, at least it was good news for me knocking on the door. I just got another package from Amazon. It is a cheap knife I'll be showing in probably one of the next videos you'll see. You'll probably, it'll probably be posted Friday night. Today is Thursday. Anyway, back to that. You know, just simple curve, make a little chopper. Really nice big handle. So, the handle will be heavier than the blade. But you get the idea. Okay. And I start with some 220 sandpaper. That's about all the cleaner that's going to be. You know, pits and everything. And that's about all I can think of. Oh, there is a little bend in the blade. It might be hard to see on camera. You can almost tell when I roll it past there. The way to get that out of there is take a chrome, like half inch socket extension, get this in the vise, you know, like maybe this way, not this way. If you can, I got cardboard jaws I can use. I mean, I can still hold a blade in there. And you rub it really, I mean, really get some pressure. Don't, don't hurt it, but get some pressure right, and just keep rubbing, and you will feel it get warm and hot. And you will actually smooth that edge back down on these cheap old butcher knives. Because it's a piece of round, hard steel. And the socket's chrome plated. And chrome bandium socket extensions, I should say. And it will actually flatten that back out. Usable. But it looks like it's in a spot where I don't need it. Because this will all be cut out. But still, this little piece of blade could be used for something. So, that's the ideas. Uh... If I make a video on it, I probably won't do the whole how-to. I'll just, I made knife handles before. You know, I'll take the torch and heat this up. Little red hot spots, let it cool down at room temperature. Then I can drill my holes for my, whatever rivets I use. And I'll stay away from here and it won't lose the temper. In fact, I'll have an ice cold wet rag wrapped around here. Sop a wet rag. So we know it'll never get hot. You can hear it sizzling. So that's it on this. Big old butcher knife. You give me a couple photos of it. And stay tuned for the next video, which is a new knife I just got. So, thanks for watching.